welcome back to the cellar and uh, just for the moment uh, I'd like a moment of silence although I'm probably not going to you know be too silent for too long uh, for Lely Vineyard uh, unfortunately or they have been uh, bought uh, you probably already know that if you don't I'm sorry to be the guy who has to bring you that news but they were sold and the winemaker left and it's now under new control and new hands and uh, we'll see what they do with the winery but it's always a sad day when a a really quality winemaker like that and a quality winery f goes into different hands and we see what has happened and in my opinion anyway we'll we'll see what what transpires there and why am I bringing up Laley because I happen to have a bottle of Laley 2013 Petit Verdot unfiltered in my hand and I am recommending it this week it's the third time that Laley has made a straight varietal Petit Verdot, although there is 8% of Cabernet Sauvignon in the bottle. And they only made one barrel, so 24 cases. Should go quickly as people rush to the winery and snap up the wines that uh, winemaker Derek Barnett made and left behind. So uh, I, I don't know how much of this stuff is, is going to be around and for how long, but let me tell you about it. Nose pretty with some nice floral, some raspberry, some white pepper. The taste is a real balancing act. First, you've got that raspberry note that plays really well with the spices and the pepper and a touch of cigar tobacco. It, it, it's, just, it's just, you know, surprising and shocking and beautiful all at the same time. It was late harvested fruit November 11th, which is pretty late here in Ontario if you, if you think about it. Um, but they needed for it to ripen in 2013 was one of those kind of vintages, uh, which they call a difficult uh, but it's a real winner. Lots of fruit, lots of spice, lots of acidity, great balance. It's a pure pleasure to drink. That's the Lely 2013 Petit Verdot Unfiltered. Price $35, and I give it four and a half stars out of five. I'm Michael Pincus, the great guy, for MichaelPincusWineReview.com. Join me again next week, and we'll look at another great bottle of Ontario wine.